It's Jessica Dreams and we are back with our first kind of chit chat video. So today I'm doing one that was kind of requested in regards to child modelling. Now a little quick introduction. So I have a almost three year old. She has been modelling since she was newborn. She got accepted into her agency at 12 days old. So I was quick on that. <laughs> um, and yeah, she's been modelling since then. Um, I mean we had a kind of quiet spell but she's with one of the top um, agencies in London so we're very very blessed with that um, she's had some amazing kind of brands that she's been working with she's been working very regularly with River Island um, Monsoon and also um, she's done a kind of knitwear company when she was a small baby so a lot of people have kind of asked me like how did she get into it how does the pay work you know is there a lot of it London based traveling do you have to travel a lot um, I just had some kind of general questions surrounding the topic so I thought I'd jump on and do a video about it and I have a lot of friends that have little ones who they're interested in getting into modelling as well so this is kind of like an advice video um, and kind of a little bit about our experience with you know having a child model and having a toddler that's a model because I think a lot of parents kind of worry are they going to want to do it are they going to be clingy um, you know is it is it something that they're actually going to enjoy so I thought I'd give kind of like my personal experience of having my daughter modeling and you know how it's kind of gone for us I'm gonna get started with the questions that we've got so I might look down a little bit but I'll try and keep my attention here as much as I can so in terms of you know getting started how do you get started and how do you pick the right agency so for us I've done a lot of research um, there's a lot of big scam agencies that will tell you you need a portfolio, they'll invite you to certain studios. Um, you can even Google the name of these agencies with the word scam and pages and pages of things will come up where people have been scammed out of thousands of pounds. Signing up to the correct agency does not cost you thousands of pounds. So that is one of the first things that you kind of need to know about you know modeling and signing up a child to be a model um you don't need a professional portfolio you really don't um you just need a clear headshot if it's a baby lay them down like a white sheet or something take a couple of snapshots if it's a toddler or a child that is able to stand just a plain background like a white wall or you know whatever you can do um kind of plainish outfit if it's a baby i always kind of done white vests on my little one um, if it's a child just like a plain t-shirt and some jeans or leggings something like that you just really want to get their facial features um, natural hair so if they have an afro have the afro out and natural if they have straight hair have their hair out and down um, you don't want no hair accessories no dummies nothing that's going to distract from their facial features and their natural look um, and then just research and find agencies that are in your area. There's different agencies up north than what there are um, in London and other areas. Um, so I know of a couple up north, but I don't know a huge amount. Um, the ones that I know are mainly in London because obviously that is kind of the area that I'm in. So, you know, it was my closest area to apply for. How you would start is you would find the agencies that you want. I would say apply to a few just in case the one that you want doesn't get back to you. Um, send in your photos, you'll need measurements like height, um, sometimes clothing size, sometimes any additional talents that if they dance, if they do, you know, um, ballet, if they can act, things like that, put that all down because that's all good stuff. Um, and then you just attach your snapshots and wait to hear back. Um, I would always say wait two to three weeks. Most will get back to you quite quickly. Um, some of the process is a little bit longer of a waiting game. Um, also don't be disheartened if you get a no or you don't get a response because it happens. Um, it doesn't necessarily mean that your little one isn't capable of being a model, it sometimes means that they've got a child that is very similar to yours already on the books, so obviously they're not going to be the best representation because if they've already got another child that looks the same it's going to be hard to find them both work. So portfolio wise, as I said, do not need one. Um, some agencies will do you a shoot to get a portfolio if they need it um, we've always only ever sent snapshots um, in regard to any fees you don't pay fees with reputable agencies you might have an admin fee for 30 pounds um, or 50 pounds most of them I know there's one that is a hundred but that is quite high 
and this you don't pay up front well with hers we didn't pay it up front it came out of her first paid job so i never paid anything up front at all um just when she had her first modeling job they took the 30 pound direct out of that the next thing is in terms of pay for the child how does it work so pay is done usually via a check um, the cheque will be addressed to the child, so you need to have a bank account for your child, a savings account, a mini account, something like that. Um, they will, the agency will generally take a percentage, so it's usually 25-30%, um, some may be a little bit less, some may be a little bit more depending on the agency. So they take their cut um, and then they send you the other percentage as a cheque um, in the child's name and you pay it into the bank. Um, so yeah, they receive... A payment it's not always the same for every job some TV commercials tend to pay a lot and I'm talking like thousands um, modeling jobs like shoots it can range from you know 80 an hour it can be way more than that um, Louise has had various shoots we had one where we was away for three days they covered our accommodation we got to stay in Dover we had our food paid for we had our travel costs reimbursed um, for fuel and things like that um, and on top of that she was paid and she made a lot of money from that one job um, me personally I don't take a cut from her payment because I put in her savings and that's for her future um, what I do take obviously from the bigger jobs is the reimbursement so I had to pay the hotel up front um, which I think cost me about £150 so sometimes you do need funds to be able to do these things um, and then it was reimbursed a couple maybe like a week or so after um the food costs my food costs probably came to about 150 pounds they're not being reimbursed until she gets paid um which is usually a 30 day delay around a month you'll get the payment sometimes it can be a little bit later especially during covid it's a bit more delayed on the payment side but as i said for me it just goes in her savings so it's not a big deal when we receive the payment um so yeah that is how the paying side of that works um, London travel someone said do you have to travel to London for all of the shoots now we live um, literally just on the edge well it, I think it counts as London but it's like London Essex anyway so we live on the edge um, so we're quite local to most of London to go to shoots so yeah majority of her um, shoots and her castings are London based um, as I said though if you are up north there is agencies up north that deal with those kind of areas um, we have however had to travel to Dover for me that was like an hour and 45 minute drive each way um, we are traveling to another one um, in Brighton which again is about an hour and 40 minutes both ways um, it can be a long day I mean when you have a toddler children have like a life they, they have to get a working license from your local council approved so it's all done like properly um, and once they get this approved you can go but the, the uh, like the license will tell you how many hours a child of that age can work so for like toddlers I think it's like two hours at a time they can't work a huge amount of hours um, older children can do I think it's like up to five or something like that per day that is um, so yeah that is how those kind that side of like you know travel when going to these things work sometimes you can be there longer than other days we've gone to shoots where she's literally just done one hour um been paid for like a day and it's done <laughs> and it's finished with and it's all gone really well um shoots are always incredible as well like she has the most fun she literally enjoys herself when it's toddlers they know obviously they can be a bit like they don't want to do things or they don't understand direction very well so a lot of the time on the shoots they're playing with like a ball or they'll throw it and she'll throw it back and they'll take shots like that they'll blow bubbles um there'll be various toys like squeaky toys and they'll tell her to do certain things that maybe point or do fun things or they'll give her props to play with um so it's always a fun experience for her and she absolutely loves it she always asks to go and do photo shoot or to go to the beach because that was where her last one was um she is now very friendly with the like hair and makeup team she absolutely loves them um we always get food we get snacks like they really really do look after you and they're always lovely it is a lot of fun and it's a great thing for me and her to do together as well because it gives us that kind of bonding time where we can do these things and enjoy it um, that being said though if she didn't enjoy it I would probably not carry on doing it because it is a lot of travel and it is a lot for them 
to do if they don't like it. Um, luckily she lets them do her hair, she's had her hair cut by them before, um, she lets them do her makeup and she's more than happy to go on set and she doesn't cling to me or anything which I was shocked I thought she would but the team was so good with getting her involved she was not even bothered if I was there or not. Um, so next up what do we have? So general advice, so as I said I would apply um, wait two to three weeks see if you get response um, don't always go with the first one if it's not the one that you want there's a few top agencies especially in London that I would say go with them if you get them um, so I'd hold off and wait and see if you do hear from those before going with other agencies just because of the brands and stuff that they get are usually a lot more frequent and a lot more well well known Louise's agency is fab they do things like Gucci, Versace, Burberry, they do your high street brands with River Island, Next, um, Matalan, get TV commercials for things like Amazon, like really really big jobs, a very good one to be with. Also don't be put off if your child doesn't get work straight away, there's no guarantee that being signed will bring you work, um, essentially the clients will message an agency and say can we have a child that you know fits this description, maybe it's blonde Eye, uh, blonde eyes, blonde hair and blue eyes, a female, um, you know, a certain height. Um, that's kind of the sort of thing that they will look for. So your child might just be slightly out of the height range for a certain brand, but then when they're in that height range, they might be suitable for a different brand. Um, and it's just kind of how it works. Like Louise had a job at four months. She didn't have anything then until she was two and a half. So it was a very, very big gap. There was kind of COVID lockdown and stuff like that. So I was like, okay, it could just be that. Then she secured River Island and has shot with them maybe four times. Um, and now we've just secured another, another brand. So she's doing that one. Um, a lot of the brands will reuse the same models, especially if they like you and, and they get the shots that they need quite quickly because it's convenient for them. Um, but as I said, Louise is nearly three and she models brands sizes for 18 months so they tend to like older children that are small to do their baby ranges because they're easier to work with than like an 18 month old would be that is one of the main things just don't be disheartened if you don't get a lot of work straight away they say the busiest ages are from four to eight um obviously the more kind of jobs that you do and the more recognized that they get it can open up more opportunities and also it depends who you meet if you meet a good kind of hair makeup stylist sort of team they will word of mouth, whoever, like whichever companies they work with, they might mention your child might be perfect for their upcoming shoot. Um, and it might just come like months after you're expecting it. Um, that's another thing, like you might get submitted for a lot of briefs, but you might not get the final pick. Um, a lot of brands will, pick, will go to like four or five different agencies and ask for the same description of children. Um, so then you've got to think they've got all these children that have been submitted and they need to pick like maybe one that for that specific um, choice or maybe a couple of them but they might not pick obviously they're not going to pick all of those children from all of those um, agencies but it doesn't mean that they won't use you at a future date so they might like you but for that set of shoot they might want somebody else and then one in the future they might be like oh remember so and so like let's get them in on this one um other general advice I would say don't expect to make loads of money from it um, for your child. Um, we have been lucky in the sense that Louise has done really well this past few months. Um, she has got a decent amount of savings from it but I do know that at any point it could go quiet um, so it's just one of those things. I would say enjoy it, make the most of it, have fun. Um, I'm trying to think what other advice people usually ask. A lot of the advice people usually ask is how do you get into it and it literally is just researching the area knowing and being aware that you do need to travel like we're in London a lot of the jobs are in London but like even the other day we had to travel an hour and a half to get to the other side of London so you could be in one area and then you still got a long way to travel um, I'm lucky in the sense that I do drive um, however this one was on the kind of tube line that we that we're close to so it was just one tube so I just jumped on because it's easier with a toddler to tend to their kind of needs and travel safely at the same time. I would just say in total be prepared for 
long travel, be prepared to potentially go abroad, um, have passports ready to go, just because you can get bookings that are abroad and it would be a shame to miss out on those opportunities if you um, just didn't have those kind of like passport and things ready. Those are usually cost covered, so it's not something that you would have to pay out for either. It's kind of like a free trip, <laughs> I guess. Um, and yeah, just kind of be prepared in the sense of you could get a lot of London shoots. However, you could, especially in the summer months, you're going to be at beach type places. So if you live in London, a lot of summer shoots are going to be like seaside areas, which are not particularly close to London all the time. Um, you're going to be traveling quite a bit for those type of jobs. And obviously you don't want to miss out on them either. So I would say it's good if you can drive. Um, or you have somebody that can drive you. It is usually one person on set only, like to chaperone the child. So um, any shoots that we've gone on, it's usually just me and her. You can obviously have someone drop you off, but you just gotta bear in mind, is someone gonna want to drive two hours to drop you? And then they need to come and get you back on the same day, like all around, that's like an eight hour trip for somebody to do those sort of drops. Um, whereas obviously if you're driving yourself, it's like two hours there, two hours back. It's not quite so bad. So yeah, me personally, I don't mind my child being a child model. Um, I had some experience of modeling when I was kind of like a teen and adult, but it was very different to this type of modeling because of my height, I'm very short. <laughs> so I've done a lot of kind of music videos and beauty pageants and things like that. Um, whereas getting her into it, she is at a good age where, you know, she can do child modeling and she can grow up in that environment. Her agency also goes up to age 22. so. She's potentially got a, a good kind of modelling career if she does want to carry on with it. I'm very relaxed in the sense of she, if she did turn around to me and say, Mum, like, this isn't for me anymore, I don't like it, I would be like, okay, you know, don't worry about it. But as I said, it's a very good way for you to save up for your child. I'm not in a huge position where I can give my child heaps of money and buy her heap, like a nice car or pay for her uni for her at the moment. I mean, obviously by then I hope to be, <laughs> but at the minute, it's not my reality. So this gives the savings and possibly future opportunities for her that I can't give her right now. Um, so for her to be able to get paid a few hundred pounds or a couple of thousand pounds from a shoot and it goes in her savings, if when she is 17, 18, if I'm not quite where I want to be and she wants to get a flash car, she is gonna be able to do that. Or if she wants to invest in property, that's gonna give her a big chunk to get started with. Um, so that is the main reason why I got her into it is so that she can have the opportunity to obviously do these amazing things but also have the opportunity to have her own finances and money and savings um, and also be aware of them as well so like as she gets older she can if she wants to go shopping like she can learn how to manage her own money and do things like this obviously as she gets older I'm not just going to give her a card like here <laughs> take all your money and go um, but it's, it just gives a lot more opportunity for her um, and I'm lucky in the sense that she does really really enjoy it um, so yeah I would advise definitely go for it if you think that you know it's something that your child would be interested in and it's something that you would like them to do but also just keep in mind you don't get loads and loads of jobs all the time you like being signed is no guarantee of work and also um, it's not a quick way to make money or something like that do you know what I mean obviously it is your child's earnings and it's your child's money and it goes it's paid directly to them so with all of that I hope I've managed to kind of help some people and point them in the right direction um comment below if you were needing more help on applying or finding reputable places um obviously if you do comment asking that make sure you put what area you're from because otherwise I can't help you at all um, I didn't want to name drop too much in this video, I can't really name the ones that are scams and stuff just in case I do get pulled off on it. Um, I can obviously tell people, you know, who are reputable and point you in the right direction to apply for these places. Um, but yeah, I hope you've enjoyed my discussing a child model and how to get into it vlog. Um, well, video, chit chat. <laughs> um, I have still got to edit our Dover trip. I am getting around to it, it is nearly done. Um, so I will be bringing that out very very soon um, if there is any other videos in relation to kind of child modeling that you would like to see just comment below and let me know and I will um, 
you know, try and do a video on those things. Or if you want me to do another Q&A, just leave all the questions below and I'll take note of them. Once there's kind of like enough questions, I will do another video. But yeah, I hope this has been helpful and I hope you've enjoyed this video. Um, comment, like and subscribe and keep checking back because the Dover vlog is probably going to be the next video that I drop after this one. Um, and it would mean the world if you all watched it because I've put a lot more effort <laughs> into it and it's took me a lot more time to edit because it's a bit more difficult. Um, so yeah, I really hope that you like this one and I hope that you come back to see the next. Thank you for watching.